I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Take on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. There's something funny about that clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now, Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge-o-magic machine. <laughs> <laughs> 
and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. Jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the Chronogon, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great... Great, great, great grandfather. He'll know what to do. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Whoa. Indeed. Have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste? You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth. All the other mad scientists would laugh! Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence.
I hate that clown. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Soon we'll all be speaking, well, English, I guess. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Hi! Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. See you later. Yeah. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamps. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamps. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room! Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Negative feelings. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> 
I can't even do this right. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is 28% below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. Hey, you can't go in there. Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? Damn good coffee. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face. Hoagie and Laverne. Yes. Fine specimens. Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Nice outfit. Don't bother. You'll just get beat like the rest of them. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Uh, uh, uh. 
Okay, who's got a joke? I got one. How can you tell a human from a sack of flour? Drop them both off a tall building, and the human will bounce. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Uh, uh, uh. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my... <sniffs> favorite Edison. Big deal. I said you're free, now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look, a skunk. Come back here, you mangy humans. You can't do this. This is an escape proof facility. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? It's already open. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh-oh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter ready to make history. We She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life! According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge o -matic. Huh? Say what? 
Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store! Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're... Or some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that, Green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojohn. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -omatic. No one is to touch the sludge -omatic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. Aha! Uh-oh. Take that. <laughs> and this. Drat. Always conks out as I'm about to finish them off. We're too little. Always conks out. Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. Ha 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 Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed.
just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Okay, little fella, mail this to Siberia. <coughs> Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes! Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal.